It's Hannah. Hannah Baker. If you're listening to this tape, you're one of the reasons why. Well, if that looked familiar to you, it's because it's a clip from the Netflix TV series, 13 Reasons Why. It was released this past spring. The show did raise a lot of controversy, specifically over the issue of teen suicide and the whole story behind it. And really, it's, it's kind of the core of the series. Absolutely. And of course, it is based on the best-selling novel by Jay Asher, who we are so very fortunate to have in our studio today. Yeah, thanks for coming, with, thanks for coming in to, to visit with us and talk to us about your book yeah. that spawned the series. Mm -hmm. And I, I guess the question is, you're from California. You, you yes. just flew in from Singapore. <laughs> what brings you to Huntington, West Virginia? Well, I'll be speaking tonight at uh -huh. the, the Big Sandy Superstore mm -hmm. Arena uh -huh. and Convention Center. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, something incredible to me, um, I know the Netflix series, this is something that came out this year, but the book, this is like a 10-year-old, yeah, is it 10 yeah, it is 2007. 2007, yeah. okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about some of the differences for folks that may have just recently watched the Netflix series versus your novel. Yeah, the novel's a more intimate story because it's told over one night mm -hmm. and you just play the main male character as he's listening to these cassette tapes right. left after this girl takes her own life. Um, whereas the TV series is expanded, takes place over seven day, several days, mm -hmm. so you see more interactions with characters. Right. Can okay. you talk about the inspiration for writing that book and, mm -hmm. and how you arrived at the decision that, that you really wanted to put pen to paper for yeah. this, this story? Yeah, I had a close relative who attempted suicide okay. when she was the same age as the girl in the book okay. and in the TV show. Um, because she survived, thankfully, and talking to her over the years, I got a sense of how somebody could get to that dark of a place. Mm -hmm. And it was years after that that I came up with the idea for the book, but that was my inspiration to just tell it as honestly as possible. And you say thankfully, and, and, mm -hmm. and, and mean that with all your heart, and yet at the same time you had critics, uh, of the, especially of the series, and then people who went back and talked about right. the book who thought that it in some way glorified suicide, and, I, I, I've, and I've read interviews that you've done about it, and the, the word glorified actually kind of grates on you because that's, it's anything yeah. but what you yeah. hope to accomplish by this book. Right. Yeah, of course. And it's, it's been kind of telling because even before I wrote the book, when I was just working on it, you would hear the word glorify. I hope it doesn't glorify it. And yeah. then the book, some people were critics of the book saying it should have happened how they actually did it in the TV series. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when the TV series came out, you had people saying it should have happened like in the book. So smart, it just comes yeah. down to the idea that it's a very, very uncomfortable topic to talk mm -hmm. about. Was that the goal, though, ultimately, was just to kind of spark that conversation for a lot of folks to openly talk about there it? There are a lot of different goals, mm -hmm. but that was one of the main ones. With my relative, part of the problem, on top of what she was dealing with, was she didn't see people talking about this stuff. Yeah. So mm -hmm. she was already vulnerable, and then was having a really hard time knowing who she could go to because nobody was talking about yeah, it. Yeah, it is that stigma that we still see right. even now today, 10 years after the yes, book was yeah, written, it yeah. still exists. So many families have, have been through something similar, not necessarily with teenagers, but mm -hmm. that is, the, that is the, the target group for what you're trying to, that message you're trying to get out. Mm -hmm. And uh, did, you, did you have, and I know obviously I know you did, but talk about people who reached out to you and, and some of the real inspiring messages that you got from people yeah. who said they were inspired by what you created. Yeah, it's been incredible because people read it based on where they are at that point. So I've heard from people who are suicidal mm -hmm. who pick up the book who say they didn't want to end up like that character, no. so it inspired them to reach out. I've heard from people who've lost family members to suicide who said it let them let go of some of the guilt because you feel, especially as a parent, mm -hmm. you know everything going on in your kid's life and then yeah. you read it and you realize you only know as much as they want you to know. Yeah, and I know a lot of it deals with teen suicide, but the event tonight, I'm sure you guys are trying to reach out to a bigger genre of folks. Who's invited to come out tonight? Everybody can come out, and, and it'll be a fun, nice event. You know, I'll talk about the inspiration of that book and the writing of it and some of my other books. Um, when I talk about writing, I really talk about perseverance because it took yeah. me 12 years of writing to finally write something that's sold, and wow. you, know, you never know yeah. when your dreams are going to come true. Yeah. Season two uh, will be coming yeah. out in the springtime. Is yes. that what it is on that? Yes, they're filming it right now. Okay. And, uh, how do you feel about that? I'm excited because uh -huh. I love how what they did with the first season, and okay. I'm really excited to see the same people on board doing mm -hmm. the second season. Yeah. And what's your message to Ben? We talked beforehand. I, I purposely, and I, I did a lot, a lot of reading about it, and I, and I thought about watching the series, mm -hmm. but I couldn't quite 
yeah, bring myself to, mm -hmm. to watch it because I just thought it was just too sad. The, the, uh, what, what would be your message to me, be, since I'm kind of on the fence on whether or not to watch it um, and, and the profound sadness that might exist, how would you reach yeah. me with a, a goal of not necessarily being like, you've got to watch it, but what yeah. would be your message to someone like me? Well, it's a great show. They did a great job with it. But mm -hmm. on top of that, you know, I would never tell somebody, oh, you should read the book or you right. should watch the show, especially because it deals with these issues sure. that sure. sometimes people aren't ready to. But I am like you. I'm somebody who doesn't like sad stories. And when I came up with this story, I knew it was going to be sad. So my focus on it was writing it as a suspenseful story so mm -hmm. that you do get through all the issues. But it's also, I think, a very well-told story. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's yeah. it's well done. Uh, and I think that's well why it's done in book form and, and Netflix. And you were very satisfied with the way the Netflix oh, series turned out. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. It's so interesting to have you here. And, and I do want to point out one more thing, too, because you do have, I think it's another book out that is, it's Piper. Yeah, it just came right? out last week or on Halloween. Okay, oh, yeah. so this is recent. Out. Talk a little bit about this book because I'm sure yeah. you'll be talking about it tonight, too. Yeah, so this, that's my fourth book, and okay. it's very different than all of my other books. It's a graphic novel. Uh, it's kind of an expanded telling of the legend of the Pied Piper, uh -huh. and, oh, which was okay. very fun to work on, but also even more fun to see the illustrations come in. Yeah, wow. I bet. Huh. Yeah. That's terrific. Did you do your own art? No. I was going to say, it would have been a stick figure. Completely yeah. multi talented. <laughs> Too, yeah. I so that would be the way I'd do it. Yeah. Well, right, Jay, thanks for coming. Appreciate in. you coming. Thank you. In. Yeah, very Thank important you. topic to talk about. Okay, so, so check Thank it out you. again tonight, Big Sandy at six, 6 o'clock. Six p.m. Yeah. Okay, sounds right. good.